Hello sailors, this is the Dodgy Kebab and today's video is to tear apart Jim Sterling's blatant Shenmue cashing video. So I like Jim Sterling, I'm subscribed to his channel and I agree with a lot of what he says. I find him an enjoyable person to watch online, apart from when he shows clips of him wrestling. Like everyone else, I just skip past those bits. So it disappoints me to see Jim do a lazy Shenmue cashing video. Clearly Shenmue's hot right now and videos about it generate clicks. And if he'd just made a video, it was like, well, I didn't enjoy the story, I didn't really enjoy the game mechanics, so I didn't really enjoy the game in general. I'd accept that. Shenmue is a very Marmite game and as, as many lovers as it does haters. But for a large figure like Jim Sterling, and I mean the size of his fan base, to make such a slapdash video with huge errors and in a way deceive people, well it's got to be called out. First, let's look at the objective issues purely fact-based things wrong with this video. First of all, this game is a HD re-release of two games, Shenmue 1, Shenmue 2. Shenmue 2 being by far the larger of the two games and far more refined. Now watch Jim's video. Do you see any of Shenmue 2 in it? Does he even mention the second game in any meaningful way? No. Shenmue 2 doesn't feature at all in his review. It's all entirely about one of the two games in the package. Don't you think that's a bit fucking lazy? It's a collection of two games, but he only bothered to play one of them. Could it be so he could get the video out quick? The second major glaring omission is Jim talking about Shenmue's story. As we know, Shenmue is a story about Ryo's journey to get revenge for his father's murder. And the story is the key part of Shenmue. What was Jim's thoughts on the story? Don't fucking know, because he failed to even mention it. Imagine if someone did a review of the upcoming Final Fantasy VII remake and didn't even mention the story once. You think the guy's a total idiot. Now some idiot is gonna try and pull her, but it's not a review, it's a Jim Pression video. It's not the same thing. Bollocks. If you deliver opinion on something, it's by definition a review. And if it's just a review of the first game and not the whole package, it doesn't take a genius to work out why that was. Now, I think those two points alone are enough to discredit Jim's video. They're totally objective and cast iron in my eyes. So I'll move on to the subjective issues I have with the video. Shenmue is dreadful. Really? Dreadful? Dreadful games don't get huge cult followings. They don't make Michael Huber cry like a baby. I always dislike Mortal Kombat. I'd never called it dreadful, but I guess you're just trying to be edgy. It's almost as many times as Ryo, this game's protagonist. Who the fuck is Ryo? What game were you playing? Was it Street Fighter? His name is Rio, or I'd accept Dior. In training, you can just press buttons, just press the combat buttons and have Ryu hit nothing. There are no combatants when you train, Ryu's just punching and kicking the air. It's like when you play a fighting game and you go into the practice mode. It's practice mode. Okay, two points here. One, are you suggesting that they should have practice dummies in the car park? Because that would seem a bit out of place, if you ask me. Two, if you want someone to fight, go to the fucking dojo. It's in your own bloody house and fight the NPC who's there every single morning. It's not that hard to find. It's in your own house. There's an arcade where you can go play some QTEs or some shit old games. Hey, Hang On is a bloody good game and I won't hear a bad word said about it. But even for its time, it's shit. It's shit for its time? Fuck off. Look at some of the other games out in 1999. System Shock 2 on the PC. It's good, but are you really telling me that this makes Shenmue look like shit? What about another big game that had a massive budget behind it? Tomb Raider 4. I'm looking at this, yet I'm failing to see how Shenmue is shit for its time. Beetle Adventure Racing. Oh yeah, what a fucking masterpiece. Instead, it starts you out with an insipid series of missions that are just go talk to this person, then go talk to this person, then go talk to this person, then go talk to this person, then, to this person, then come back tomorrow and talk to this person, then come back tomorrow and talk to this person, then talk to this person, then talk to this person. The problem I have with this is that it's not actually true. You don't get told who to speak to. You framed this dishonestly. You actually have an almost detective-like opening to the game. You're not told who to speak to. You have to go around and gather information and work out yourself who to speak to and how to progress the story forward. It's not some Assassin's Creed bullshit where you have your missions laid 
laid out for you in a checklist with markers. You have to work out what you need to do, who you need to speak to, and where you have to go to find them. And it really would have served them to have at least tried to clean up the audio, even if they could only clean it up just a little bit. Now there, I will agree with you on the point. This game should not have used the same audio files as the Dreamcast. Sega had uncompressed audio of the whole game. They used it in Shenmue the movie DVD that was included with the Xbox version of Shenmue 2. If you remember anything at all, please tell me. Ryo-san? Ryo-san? Where are you going? You're not going after them. Please don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. That audio should have been swapped out. No remastering was needed. That was just lazy on the part of Sega for not using it. Well, that's it. My objective points are my major issues with Jim's video. I'm not going to stop watching Jim. You can disagree with someone on something and still like them. I think Jim used a game beloved by many for cheap views, and that just doesn't sit well with me. Abba.